Hey, g'day guys, my name's Stephen Hamilton from Honeyweb Online Marketing Solutions. And first of all, let me please thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video training. Social media is an essential element to every successful business today. But who has time to manage a social media strategy? Or the expertise to make sure you're getting the results you're looking for? In this training session, I'm going to show you exactly how to use social media for your business. So let's get into it. Okay. In this training, I'm going to show you how to set up a social media lead machine that you can set on autopilot. We also call it a social media sales machine. Best way to think of it is think about having a 24-7, seven day a week, 365 day a year online salesperson working for your business. Now, what you're going to discover in today's training is how to set up a social media lead machine that you can run on autopilot. I'm also going to show you where to find your highly targeted source of leads who are ready to do business with you right now and how to use marketing automation to generate leads on autopilot. So who's this training for? Well, it's for business owners who understand that things have changed and who want to not only survive today but thrive into the future. It's also for people who are ready to implement that change and take advantage of these opportunities today. It's also for people who are willing to have skin in the game and who understand they need to invest in their business in order to grow it. Who's this not for? Well, it's not for business owners who are just happy to sit around and hope things change. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's also not for people who want to continue what they've always done and are expecting something different to happen. And it's not for people who complain about how slow business is but aren't willing to do something about it. If you fit into this category, you're probably in the right, wrong spot. Um, for everyone else, let's get into it. Okay, so today's training, I'm going to go through why embracing social media is so important for your business today. Also, how to use the hook story offer technique to get people's attention and persuade them to actually buy. We're also going to go through how to structure your Facebook business page so you get more inquiries and how to use an AI chatbot to generate leads in Facebook Messenger. I'm also going to show you how to run successful Facebook and Instagram advertising campaigns and how to connect with and engage with your local community so they become regular customers as well. So I'm just going to jump onto my website. I want to tell you a little bit about me. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Uh, I don't want to bore you. Um, but very quickly, this is my company, Honeyweb. Now, my online marketing journey started back in 1998. I used to actually play AFL football in Melbourne for the Kangaroos. Uh, but my footy career, I was pretty um, injury riddled. So I thought I'd better find something else to do with myself. And that's when I discovered this little thing called the internet. Now, the thing I love about what I do, guys, is everything I'm going to teach you today is not based on my or anyone's opinion. It's actually based on science and research. And I'm going to back that up and show you some of that in a second. Now, whenever I do any marketing, my focus is always on performance. And what I mean by that is if I'm going to spend any time, effort, and especially money on marketing, I want to know I'm getting the best return on investment possible. And I'm going to take a punt and a guess that you guys probably feel the same way. Now, the thing that I do differently to most is I use a thing called the science and psychology of conversion-centered design. Now, that sounds fancy, but basically all it means is there is a lot of psychology behind whether you get that lead or get that sale. So I understand how to make that happen. And again, I'm going to teach you that in the training. Um, and just so you know, uh, using my knowledge, I increased one of my client's website leads by over 1,097%. And another one's online sales by over 30%. So they're pretty impressive numbers and a big claim. But again, I'm going to back that up and show you exactly how we do it. Now, if I just scroll back up the top, if you want to have a look at my website after the training, feel free. But under the services tab, you'll see there, we do everything to do with online marketing. My focus, though, is on website design, e-commerce solutions, funnel building, and social media. Now, social media is very quickly taking over my business simply because of the results I've been getting. I've got over 800 clients all over Australia from multinational companies right down to my local Indian restaurant around the corner from where I live. So that's enough about me. Hopefully that didn't bore you. As I said, I want to get into this research. Now, I love this stuff, so hopefully I don't get too excited, but hopefully this gets you um, to understand how important this research is to getting results. Okay, now this is a company in America called Mech Labs. It's actually a research firm, and this is their marketing experiments website. So I pay a lot of money to these guys and others like them to get all the latest research and then I'll implement that into my own business and then into my clients as well. So just to give you an idea about what these guys do, basically they test and measure everything you can imagine when it comes to marketing. So as I said, a lot of this is to do with psychology. 
So they're just talking about you know, how to plan projects and proposals. Um, the hidden opportunities within the COVID-19 crisis. We're going to go through that in more detail. As I said, there's a lot of opportunities opening up because of this. Um, you know, buyer anxiety, value propositions. I'll teach you about that in a second. Um, the perception gap. So again, a lot of this to do with psychology. Uh, but it's also practical testing, which what we call A-B split testing, which I'll, again, I'll go into more detail in a second. But testing things like button colours and what sort of Facebook page should you set up and how should you structure it. All of these things are designed to get us the best results possible. So if I just scroll down, you'll see there's thousands of hours worth of research in here. I will quickly show you this one here. Now, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but just bear with me. All right, so there's Flint McLaughlin there. He's the owner of Mech Labs, and you'll see there he's actually featuring my website in this training that he's running. So basically, I just want to show off, and um, <laughs> basically that's all I was doing, showing off. So let me get that out of the way. Again, there's thousands of hours worth of research here. But the great news is I've learnt this so you don't have to, and I want to go through the basics that you need to understand in order to move your business forward. Now, before we do this, I'd like you to do me a quick favour. I want you to jump onto your Facebook business page. Now, once I show you how to do this, you can pause the video and then come back to it once you've got your number. But what we want to find out is what's called page view. So if you can log onto your page, and when you log in now, this is for a mobile as well, you'll see at the top there in between your name and where you've got your, your video or your image, you'll see their page, ad center, inbox, lead center, creator studio, notifications, more. Now, under more, you'll see insights. So if you can click on insights, once you go to insights, you'll see it says last seven days, change that to 28. And this number here is the number of page views, the number of people have gone to your Facebook business page in the last 28 days. So that number's important, um, that's why I want you to know what that is. So pause the video, we'll come back, and we'll continue on with the training. Okay, so you should have your page views number now. So what we're gonna go through, as I said, let's go through this title. Discover what really works in conversion marketing, A-B split testing, and value proposition. Now I wanna explain what these three things are, and how they relate to those page views, and why they're so important for the success of your business moving forward. Now, when we talk about conversion marketing, the way I explain that is to say, imagine if you and I own a restaurant. Now, if we get 100 people turn up to our restaurant, I'm gonna argue they're probably interested in our business. <laughs> they wouldn't be there otherwise. Now, if we get 100 people to our restaurant, we gave them all a menu, and we only got one order out of the 100 people. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd be horrified, and as my business partner, I'd be saying to you, we need to change our menu immediately and I'd be pretty disappointed if you said no. Okay, so that's what we mean by conversion marketing. For every 100 people who visit your website, who visit your Facebook page, your business page, they are there because they are interested in your business. There is no other reason why they'd be on your page. So as you've seen with me, I had 187 people in the last 28 days who have gone to my Facebook page. So we need to make sure as businesses that we convert as many of those people into inquiries, just like the menu. You don't want to get 100 people turn up and get one inquiry. You want to get 100 inquiries. Okay, so that's what we mean by conversion marketing, and that's why that part is so important. Now, the next part of this is called A-B split testing. Now, I'm going to show you a website that we've built. Now, this is for a company called the Handorf Soap Factory. Now, again, for every 100 people who visit this website, we need to sell as many bars of soap and cream as possible. This is an e-commerce site or an online shop. So, again... For every 100 people who turn up here, I'm going to argue they're interested. So if we only make one sale, well, clearly there's something wrong with this website. So let's go back quickly and we'll talk about A-B split testing. Now, as you can see, I've got the Shop Now button here highlighted in a green button or green box. Now, when we do A-B split testing, what that basically means is we can do two versions of this website. Version A has the Shop Now button highlighted as you see it there. Version B we don't highlight that button. It just looks like contact us and soap making experience, etc. So we've got two websites. Website A with a green button, website B without a green button. We put them both up on the internet at the same time. When people go to the site, we can split the traffic 50-50, and after a certain amount of time, we can work out and say, okay, which version, A or B, generated more sales? It's like having two different menus to see which one got you more orders. So just so you know, and this goes for all e-commerce sites globally, um, all different industries, on average, the shopping cart increase is over 22% just because you highlight the Shop Now button. 
which makes sense. You're, you're directing people to you know, what you want them to do. Now, even button colors is important. We can test that as well. So we can test a green button versus red, pink, purple, orange, all the colors in the rainbow if we wanted to. Now, one test that was done, it wasn't for these guys, but one test that was done is they changed a button from red to green and they had a 30 plus percent increase in people clicking that button just because of the color change. Now, even what's written in buttons matters. So you can see here, we've got discover more with a little arrow there. Now, we used to have click here written in buttons. We changed it from click here to learn more. The click through rate, which means people clicking it, went up 13 something percent. We then changed it from learn more to discover more. It went up an additional 20 plus percent. Over, now amazingly, over 75% of people will click directly on that arrow. And if you don't have this arrow in these buttons, the click through rate drops by over 15%. So stupid little things like that, which you wouldn't think would make much difference on whether you or I get that lead, that sale, can have a massive impact. And that's where that 1,097% increase in leads came from that I mentioned earlier. Again, for every 100 people who visit this site, they're here because they're interested. And if we only make one sale, well again, clearly there's something wrong with the website. And if we get 100 people to click on this bar of soap, I'm gonna argue they're probably interested in that soap. Again, why would you click on it if you weren't? So again, if we get 100 people to do that, we only make one sale. Well, there's clearly something wrong with this part of the website. And again, if they add it to the cart, well, I'm going to argue they're probably interested. Why would you add it to the cart? And again, if we get 100 people do that, we only get one sale. Well, we know there's something wrong with this part of the process. So this is what we mean by A-B split testing. And this is why it's so important. And that's essentially what these guys are doing. They're testing and measuring everything you can imagine when it comes to marketing, all designed to make sure that you and I get as many sales or leads or inquiries out of every opportunity. Business was tough enough. It's just got a little bit tougher. So we make sure we don't want to waste any opportunities. Right now, the final part of this, and this is the most important part of marketing, is what we call a value proposition or value proposition sequencing. Now, hopefully you've got that um, or a pen with you. I want you to write down three words for me. I mentioned them earlier, hook, story, offer. So hook, as in a fishing hook, story, as in writing a story, and offer is providing someone with a really good offer. Now I'm gonna come back to hook story offer and, and why I wanted you to write that down because I want you to remember this at the end. Uh, but let's go back to value proposition and value proposition sequencing and then I'll explain how that relates to hook story offer. Okay, and as I said, this is the most important part of marketing. So please um, focus on this. Now value proposition. Basically what that means is someone's got a problem. We have a solution to that problem. Okay, think of it, think of the, um, the Restaurant again, the restaurant analogy. Okay, what's the problem? Are you hungry? Okay, what's the solution to that problem? We sell food. Now it sounds so stupidly obvious when I say it, but this is the mistake people make. People do not care about you or me, could not give a rats. All they care about is their problem. Do you have a solution for me? If not, get out the way. If they don't instantly think that you have the solution for their problem, they're moving on. You know how quick it is people flicking through their news feeds. Right, so that's the very important that you get your product and sorry, your value, value proposition right. You get that right, you get more sales. You get that wrong, you get less sales. Now the second part to this is what we call value proposition sequencing. And what I mean by that is the sequence we need to do this in in order to get the best results. Now the way I explain that is to say, you and I would not walk up to a perfect stranger and ask them to marry us. Well, I assume you wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't. So let's think about the real world scenario. How does this all work? Well, first of all, you've got to get that person's attention. Right? If you don't get their attention, they're not going to go on a date. If they don't go on a date, we're never going to marry them. Okay? Same thing applies in business. If you don't get their attention, they're not going to get a proposal or not see your price list. And if they don't see that, they're not going to place an order. Okay? It's exactly the same. So getting their attention is the hook part of hook story offer. Very important. Again, if, if you don't get their attention, it doesn't matter what I go on with next, none of it's going to happen. So that's the first part. Now the second part is the story. So again, let's go back to the real world scenario. What happens in the real world once you've got that person's attention? Well, you go up and introduce yourself and you start a conversation. It's during that conversation, you're trying to make a connection with another human being. You're trying to gain their trust. There's no way that I would do business with someone I don't trust, and I'm sure you feel the same way. And as the same, you wouldn't go on a date with someone you don't trust either. 
right? So we're trying to make a connection, we're trying to gain their trust. So this is the story part of Hook Story Offer. Introduce yourself, talk about the problems, provide a solution, okay? And that's where you gain the trust of, of people, by being honest up front and saying, look, here's the problems, I've got these solutions. Now the final part of this is the offer, or what we call a call to action. Now obviously, if you don't ask someone to do something, they're less likely to do it. And if you ask someone to do something, they're more likely to do it. Now do it. Think, think of it this way. Imagine if we organised a barbecue. Okay, and we're out the back, the drinks are on ice, the food's ready to go, the music's playing. Three hours goes past, no one turns up. You're looking at me going, what is going on? And then I ask whether you invited someone, and you didn't, and I didn't invite anyone either. Oh, pff, no wonder we're having a bad barbecue. We didn't invite anyone. Okay, this is the problem that businesses still, uh, the mistake they're making. I used to do it too. I used to sit around, geez, I hope the phone rings. Geez, I hope I get an email. I hope someone wants a website done. I hope someone wants a social media ad run. Right, those days are done. You can't do that anymore. You have to be proactive because your competitors are out there inviting people to their barbecue. Even if I know you've got a barbecue on every Saturday or every day when it's business. You know, if you don't remind me, I'm probably going to forget. Right, so this is what we talk about when we talk about the offer. You've got to ask people to do something. You've got to remind them to do it. Right, so that's the hook story offer technique. Now the next part of this I want to go through is, as I said, none of this is going to work if we don't get people's attention. So where do we go to get people's attention? Well, you go where people are, you know, duh, obviously. So where do people spend their time today? It's on social media. Now there's a term called digital disruption. And basically what that means is technology coming along and changing or disrupting the way we do things. So let me give you two quick examples. Uber disrupted taxi cabs, took over 75% uh, of their business. Yellow Pages, what happened to Yellow Pages? Okay, well Google came along. Yellow Pages is now the size of a postage stamp and Google's one of the biggest companies on the planet. Kodak's another example. Kodak actually invented the digital camera. But what happened to the business? It went bankrupt because no one wanted um, what Kodak did. <laughs> digital cameras took over from that. Right, so the reason I'm bringing this up is social media is today's media. We spend more time on here than we do watching television. Now I'm not sure if you know this, but Channel 9 are merging with Fairfax Media. And the reason why that's happening is all the big boys, your McDonald's, Coca-Cola's, etc., they're all moving their money away from traditional media and they're moving it into social media as well. They're following the eyeballs, they're going where the people are. Because as I said, if you want to get someone's attention, you've got to go where the people are. Now the second reason why all of the money is moving into social media, or has moved into social media, is from a targeting perspective. So what I mean by that is for me, I only want people like yourself, a business owner, to see my ad. Why would I pay for anyone who doesn't own a business to see my ad? It makes absolutely zero sense to do that. Yet if I put an ad on the television, 95% of the people who see that don't own a business. So I would have just wasted 95% of my money. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want to waste that much. I don't want to waste any. Okay, so the reason why you can move your money in here is because we can target your audience. So depending on what type of business it is, whether it's location based, we can target people within a certain kilometre radius of your business. Now again, if you're targeting different age groups, a, a, a value proposition to an 18 to 25 year old age group would be different to a value proposition for a 35 to 50 year old, 50 year old age group. So you can get really smart about how you target and, message, and do your messaging with Facebook. We've never had the ability to do this before uh, Facebook came out. And whether you like Facebook or not is irrelevant to the business perspective. Uh, we're all in business to make money. And this is where, again, your customers are. This is where the people are. And the fact that we can target them means we can be a lot smarter with the ad spend. Now, the final reason that I want to bring up with this is also word of mouth. Now, most of you guys, I assume word of mouth is probably the main way you do and have always got your business. And word of mouth will always be extremely important, if not the most important form of marketing. Absolutely. But even word of mouth has changed. So let me explain how. So let's say you and me were friends and you told me about a fantastic restaurant in your area. Now, as a friend, I trust you based on your recommendation, I would go try that restaurant. Okay, but today, over 90% of people do this. The first thing they do today is they're actually going to go and look at our Facebook business page before deciding whether to take that next step and go to that restaurant or give us a call or whatever it is. 
Right, so that's why it's so important to get this page right, and this is why I wanted to know what your page views were, because again, if, let's say your page views are 100, let's work on that number. So if you've had 100 people visit your page in the last 28 days, again, they are there because they're interested. There is no other reason why they'd be there. So we need to make sure your page is set up correctly in order to get as many of those people to make an inquiry. Basically, as I said, the lead machine. So let's go through. Now, I'm going to talk about my page and how to set the page up properly, and you can then relate that back to how your page is currently set up. So the first thing we need to do now, for, sorry, again, this is not my opinion. This is actually based on that science and that research. So the first thing you need to do on your page is make sure your logo sits in this spot here, and please make sure it sits in nice and neatly. I've seen logos in there where they're half cut off. I've even seen one upside down, if you can believe that. But make sure your logo sits in nice and neatly. Now, in here, a lot of people just put a graphic. Right? Remember, hook story offer. Don't waste this space. We're trying to convince this person to go on a date with us. Right? So use that area to do your hook story offer. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of clients I've worked with um, in a second. Now, the next thing that people look at are the reviews. All right? This is one of the main reasons they're going to our page. Look, you can tell me how great you are. I can tell you how great I am. That's advertising. It's when other people tell us how great they are or how these people are is when we take more attention. So word of mouth on steroids or what we call social proof. So as you can see here, I've had 49, sorry, yeah, 4.9 out of 5 star rating based on 50 people's opinions. So let's think about that in that real world scenario I made earlier. I want to go and I want to marry this girl. I really like her. So I've got her attention now. She's come here to check me out. Do I want to go on a date with Stephen Hamilton? Now again, I'm biased, but I think this looks pretty good. Hopefully this video impresses her. I've got my hook story offers, value propositions running through that video. Now the next thing they look at, as I said, is how many people, um, how many reviews we've got. So again, think about the real world. Imagine if she went out in the real world and said, hey, this Stephen Hamilton guy wants to take me on a date. And 50 people tell her that I'm a fantastic guy. Now I'm going to argue she's probably going to be more inclined to want to go on that date now. Whereas if I didn't have any reviews, or not many, she's going to be less inclined to want to go on that day. Again, this is all about gaining this person's trust. Remember, no one's going to do business with you if they don't trust you. Now, the second thing people look at is the story section. So see, I've got a photograph of myself. Now, the research is clear. By putting a photo there, it gains more trust. If you don't put your photo there, you know, people are thinking, why not? What are you trying to hide? Now the other thing is, we're trying to connect with a human being. I've seen a lot of pages where they don't even show a person. Right? This is social media. Again, we're trying to connect with another human being. We're trying to gain their trust. Right? So if we meet in the real world, you know, we don't look each other in the eye when we meet, you know, you're probably not going to trust that person. So the same psychological process is going on here. We're trying to gain their trust. Now the other thing, every single human being on this planet today has their own dreams and aspirations. So if you can get them to connect to your story, they're going to be far more likely to want to follow you on that journey, which basically means do business with you. So this is where you tell your story. I'm sure you've got a fantastic story to tell. Again, for me, I used to play footy. I was getting injured all the time. I've started my business from absolute scratch. I've built it into over 800 clients around Australia. Okay, people are interested in these things. Not everyone reads it, but the ones who do are the ones who are going to be more likely to want to do business with you. Now, the next part that people look at is how many followers we've got. So I've got over 1,300 followers. So let's go back to that real world scenario quickly. Imagine if that girl went out, found out that I've got no friends, zero. She's going to think I'm a dork. She's not going to want to go on that date with me. But obviously, the more people I've got friends with, the more popular I seem. Okay, and as shallow as this sounds, people would rather be friends with popular people. Okay, so we need to make sure you've got enough lights on there so you look cool. Again, it sounds a bit um, you know, not good, but that's just reality. Now, the other thing that this does, it shows mutual friends or friends in common. So again, imagine she went to a barbecue and mentioned me and five people at the barbecue yelled or said to her that they're friends of mine. Okay, again, this is all about gaining this person's trust so they feel comfortable in going on a date or doing business with us. Right, so this is all about gaining their trust. Now, now we've gained their trust, it's about getting the lead, or the date in this case. All right, so the way you need to set up the navigation is on the side here. Home, services, reviews, posts, videos, photos about community. The rest doesn't really matter too much. Now, the reason why it's in that order, again, the sequence. We need to get this sequence right. 
So again, let's just go back one. I've got this person's attention. I'm biased, but I think this looks pretty good. I've got lots of people vouching for me. Hopefully, I've, you know, she connects to my story. Hopefully, she thinks I'm cool. And hopefully, we've got some uh, friends in common. Now again, if you remember, value propositions, problem solutions. So we can see the services, problems, social media. I've got a solution to that. If your problem's website design, I've got a solution to that. If it's e-commerce, I've got a solution to that. Then we show the recommendations and reviews again to reinforce, not only do I understand your problem and I have a, a solution for you, you can trust me to deliver on this because here's a heap of people telling you how great we are at what we do. Okay, now the next part and the final piece of the puzzle is the very first post that people see. Now I've called this a pinned ad post. What I mean by that is it's a post like any other post, but I've written it as an ad, hook, story, offer. Are you a business owner? Hook. If you answered yes, then you know business has got a hell of a lot harder, but what if I told you there's an easy way to set up a social media lead machine that you can set on autopilot? So problems and solutions. Okay, so then at the end of it, I'm asking people to book now. Right, so that's actually what we call a lead generation campaign. So if they click on that, opens up a form, the names are already pre-filled in, they don't even have to type anything in, they just click next, you just got another lead. Right, so that's how easy this is. You set it on autopilot and just collect the leads. All right, so that's basically how you need to set up your page in order to make sure that for every 100 people who visit your page, and think about the number of people who have visited your page based on that page views we went through earlier, now how many of those people do you need to convert into a sale? Right, how many do you think? Again, they're there because they're interested. Now, another thing to think about is, you know, what's an average sale worth to you? Well, maybe make a note of that. What's an average sale worth to you? And then we can work out at the end, you know, how this can work for you. All right, so that's how you need to set up your page. Now, the second part to this is a lot of people, for whatever reason, don't like calling. And it might be out of hours. So a lot of people would rather send a message. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to set up these, the um, AI chatbot part of this. Now, I'll have to click on test button. Right, I'll go to get started, I'll open this up, click on here. So this is mine in action. So as you can see, someone comes onto my page, clicks on the messenger part. I've got this little, um, I was going to say pelican, penguin saying hello. Right, so I'm trying to be not, you know, friendly, fun with this. I want to try and get this person's details. Okay, now, as you can see here, it says hello Stephen. So it actually personalises it, so it'll take the name of the person, put that in that spot. Welcome to Honeyweb Online Marketing Solutions. Do you have a question or are you interested in our services? So let's say they click on services. Now normally when people use um, uh, Messenger, what happens is they might ask a question, they're now waiting for you to respond. Now I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit there and wait too long. And the fact that I'm on your page tells me that you're interested or I'm interested. And if I'm asking a question, I wanna know the answer now. Or, or I wanna book a um, time to see you or whatever, whatever your objective is. So most of it is lead generation. So let's click on services. Now again, see how it looks like someone's actually typing here. So this is actually a computer doing this, but it looks like someone's there right now helping out with this, um, these questions. So what services are you interested in? So there you can see, we can list all of your services. Well, let's say it's social media in this case. Now again, I'm being fun. I've got the little sheep going, hey, thumbs up, you beauty. All right, would you be interested in a free social media strategy session? Yes, I would. Now I get pretty, um, pretty happy when I get leads. So there's me getting pretty happy. Yes, another lead. So okay, can I have your name please? All right, so they type in their name. All right, so you can see name. So now it's asking, can I also have your email address? Now as you can see, it's actually pulled my email address out of my Facebook account. So I didn't even have to type that in. So bang, I just collected their email address. Bang, I just got their phone number. Now for me, I asked for business name. Right, so I've just collected their business name. So you can collect whatever details you want in order to be able to do a, um, do a quote or a proposal, whatever it is. But do, don't ask for too much. Um, just get the basics, name, email, mobile, and that's normally enough to be able to give them a call back and then do, do your thing and then hopefully go out and, and do a proposal. All right, so that's how you use a chatbot. And that, again, that's why it's so important. Again, if you've had 100 people, let's work on that number. If you've had 100 people visit your page in the last 28 days or whatever number of days, Again, I know I'm harping on this, but they're there because they're interested in our business. There's no other reason they'd be there. 
Right, let's make sure we get as many inquiries as possible. Obviously, inquiries turns into sales. Right, so hopefully that's all made sense so far. Now, the next part of the social media lead machine is running Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Now, this is Facebook Ads Manager for those who aren't aware. And you'll see in there, now, if you've got a Facebook business page, you would have one of these set up with your page as part of the deal. Uh, if not, I can help with this stuff um, if, if we move forward and you engage me to help you later. Um, but this is my ad. Now, you can see here I've run thousands of ads. I won't go all the way down there. You can see I've got an active ad campaign running right now. So I'm currently spending $50 a day. Now, in the last month, oops, I need to get me out of the way. Just hang on. Right, so this is this month from May the 1st, and it's currently May the 12th. So if you're watching this after those dates, um, the ad's been up there for that long and it's still still working for me, hence why I'm still running this campaign. But this current one here, so I've had 23 leads at a cost of, um, we might say $20 a lead. Right now, most of the people I talk to who have tried Facebook ads, business owners like yourselves, tell me they've tried Facebook ads, the ones who have, and told me they don't work. Now there's two reasons why I hear that. One is they don't know how to write ads, okay? They don't understand the hook story offer method. Think of it like writing a song, right? I would have no chance of ever writing a hit song. Buckley's, right? But even people who know how to write songs, how many of their songs turn into hits? They'll be lucky if they get one in a hundred, right? So there's structure to writing a song. There's an artisticness to writing a song. The same thing applies with writing successful Facebook ads. If you don't understand the structure and the artistic side of it, no wonder you struggle to get results. Now the other reason, I will just change this into lifetime. I'll go to a previous campaign. Now you can see here, I was offering a free social media lead machine. Now this was um, 2nd of the 4th, 2019. Exactly the same campaign I'm running right now. That was running from the 31st of the 1st, 2020. Right now you can see here, I've got 114 leads from that campaign at a cost of 52.67. So I've turned 52.67, I've reduced that down to 21. Right, so that's a $30 improvement in cost per lead over 12 months. So again, even I'm doing what I'm about to show you. So let me jump into this old one quickly. I want to show you. Now, if you remember, I spoke about A-B split testing. So this is the second reason why people struggle to get results. They don't A-B split test. So testing different button colors, all that stuff I mentioned earlier. So here you can see I've got 10 different versions of this ad. Right, I'm testing and measuring which ones are getting me the best results. So if I do what most businesses do, I'll click on this one here, fourth to bottom. Now if I run across, you'll see there that this ad got me one lead at a cost of $127.55. So imagine you said to me, hey Stephen, you've tried Facebook ads, how'd it go? Oh yeah, and this is what most people do. They'll do an ad, chuck it up on Facebook, throw some money at it, doesn't work, spit the dummy, they don't work, never doing it again. Well that would be my argument here. I did one ad, cost me $127 a lead, they don't work. Well, hang on. This ad here got me 72 leads at a cost of 49. Okay, overall 114 leads at a cost of 52. Right, Facebook ads do work, but again, you need to know how to write ads and uh, hook story offer. And two, you need to make sure your AV split test to see which ones get you the best results. I'm always surprised when I do this. I think this one, but turns out that that one works better. Again, I'm not interested in opinions. I'm interested in actually facts. What works, what doesn't work. Test, test, test. All right, so if we scroll back up. Sorry, I'll go back to my current campaign. All right, now the other way to think of this, you're probably familiar with pokey machines or ATM machines. So we call this in our industry the Facebook ATM machine. All right, I call, also call it the pokey machine. Now, unlike a pokey machine, if you put money in that, it basically takes it. <laughs> when we do this, it's like an ATM machine where it gives you the money back. So let's, let's have a look at my numbers. And I'm going to get my calculator out here and just work out some, um, some numbers for you. So as you can see there, I'm currently spending $50 a day on this campaign. Now that's generated 240 leads. My ad's been seen by over 101,000 business owners just like yourself. The ad's been shown nearly 300,000 times, so people are seeing this one, two, three times. Now it takes around between three and 15 times for a message or an ad to, to sink into someone's brain. So the fact I've got 240 leads already is pretty good. And what's more impressive is it's only cost me $21 a lead. Now let's do some numbers here. Now for me, out of 240, 
um, leads that I'll get through this campaign, around about half of them, I'll end up doing this exact presentation I'm doing for you right now in this video training, but I'll do it one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the reason why I've done this video training is I was just too busy. I was too busy doing one-on-one -on -one training sessions like this. Um, I just ran out of time to do the work. So basically, what I'm doing now is doing the video training, uh, which means, obviously, I don't need to do as many one-on-one -on -one sessions. I can focus on actually doing the, doing the work for my clients. But let's just do this, go through this process. So 240 now. Around about half of those, I'll end up doing this presentation to live. The other half, I'll either send a video training or I'll send them to a webinar or they just don't ring me back, which means I don't end up doing the presentation. Bad luck, they're lost. So let's just divide this by two to make it easier. Probably didn't need a calculator for that, but it's 120. Now out of 120, my sales, um, sorry, my close rate means how many proposals I put in, how many sales I'll get. So I'll, 120 people will get a proposal. I was close about 85 plus percent of those will become clients. They'll engage me to help implement this social media lead machine strategy I'm going through with you right now. But let's say it's 50%. I'm not sure what your numbers are. You'd, you'd know better than I do, obviously. But let's say it's 50% for this exercise. So obviously, again, I didn't need the calculator. That's 60. Now, think about, as I said earlier, think about what's your average sale. You know, if you get a 10 leads, how many of those do you close? Out of those that you close, let's say it's five. Out of five sales, what's an average sale? $100, $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $100,000, thousand, whatever it is. So work out that number. Now for me, it's about $2,500. So that's 60 times by 2,500 equals 150,000. Again, probably didn't need the calculator for that. So $150,000, and it'll be more, but $150,000 approximately that this campaign will generate me based on these numbers, not guesswork, based on these numbers. Now have a look how much I've spent or invested to get that. Just over $5,000 to get $150,000 collect. Wow we, you beauty. You can see why I'm so excited about this. Right, this is how you generate your leads. This is where all your leads are. They're on social media. They're waiting for you now. But again, you need to hook story off of them. Again, don't sit out the back complaining your barbecue's not going any good if you're not inviting people. Simple, and guess what? The more people you invite, the more turn up. Who would have thunk it? Right, but again, these numbers aren't gonna be the same as what you get, okay? But again, if you don't put that money in that machine and press that button, we're not gonna know what your numbers are going to be. Right, so all I can guarantee is I know how to write hit songs when it comes to actually writing a Facebook ad or Instagram ads. These run on Instagram as well. All right, so very powerful. Now, this is basically the social media lead machine that I mentioned earlier. You need to make sure, again, whatever your number is, again, let's work on 100. If you've had 100 people visit your page, don't waste those opportunities. Make sure you get as many of those people to visit this page and then actually call you. Or, again, go through Messenger with the chat bot. You wanna make sure you get as many leads out of these guys as well. They're there for free, it's organic. It's, someone's told them about you, they've seen an ad in the paper, whatever. They've come to your page to check you out. Don't waste the opportunities. So that's the first thing. You need to get your page set up properly. We need to set you up with a chatbot so you don't waste those opportunities. And then you need to start running an actual ad campaign designed to generate leads or send people to your e-commerce store or to your website or whatever it is you want to do. But in most people I deal with, it's, it's lead generation. Right, so that's the, um, the social media lead machine. Now the next thing I mentioned uh, that I want to go through, sorry, was how to engage with the local community so they become regular customers as well. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Now, I'll just go back to my page. Now, let me quickly explain how Facebook works. Facebook's business model is exactly the same as traditional media, television, radio, and print. Right, so let's think about this for a second. If Channel 10 or any station put up bad TV shows, you and I would stop watching Channel 10 because we don't like the shows. Okay, now if we stop watching, advertisers stop advertising because no one's watching the station. Right, so Channel 10 business model is they want as many people watching their station in order to sell more advertising. Facebook's business model and Instagram and all the others is exactly the same. They want us on their platform for as long as possible in order to sell more advertising. Right, there's another ad there. Okay. Now the other way Facebook works is 
Now, you, you may have heard of a thing called reach and frequency. So what I mean by that, reach means how many people see or hear your ad. Frequency means how often. Now, reach is important. I want every single business owner just like you to see my ad. Absolutely. Well, that's great. But it's not what makes it work. It's frequency. Okay, so think about radio. If I hear an ad on the radio, I don't know about you, but I'd forget that ad within 10 milliseconds. Right, so if I don't hear that again, that whoever that was just wasted their money. So that's why you hear these ads get repeated over and over and over again. Right, because it takes, as I said earlier, it takes between 3 and 15 times for a message to sink into a human brain. Right, so when it comes to how many posts and what type of posts you need to be doing, don't freak out, but you need to be doing a minimum of two posts every day. Right, now we can help you with that. I've got a solution to that problem as well, but we'll focus on the social media lead machine first. But again, I just want to go through and explain what, why and how and what you need to do here. Now, when you create your content, it needs to be a combination of helpful advice sort of posts and also connecting style of posts. So if anyone there is familiar with a guy called Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk, his um, strategy, I guess, is the same as what I use, is, and he calls it, by providing value up front, you win. So you think about what I'm doing right now. I've just spent an hour of my time to create this video, and it's obviously take more than that to get it all set up so you can look at this. But, you know, when I do one-on-ones, I'm giving you my time for free. At the end of this, you can walk away and say, thank you, Stephen, and go and implement this strategy yourself. Right, absolutely you can. But as I said, I know that over 85% of people who see this, um, this uh, message, or this training, sorry, will actually engage me to help them implement the strategy. Right, so I'm providing value up front. So if you look at the sort of posts that I do, right, again, the first one's locked in as an ad. Right, this one's talking about how um, Facebook's announcing small business grants. Now, again, this is important. Imagine that was the first post you see when you come to my page. Now, that wouldn't be relevant to your problem. So if I didn't have that first one locked in, you know, you look at that and go, well, that doesn't help me. See ya, next. So that's what's important to make sure that first post that people see is actually the ad, hook story offer. But again, I'm putting this into people's news feed. So help, advice, hints and tips. So I'll just scroll down a bit further. Again, value. Right, managing through building resilience during the COVID. So again, hints and tips, advice. How to build an email list. Now here's where I do more of the connecting style things. Adelaide's parks, parklands and artworks online. So as I said, you know, I used to play footy, so I'll talk about sport. Talk about the local schools, the local businesses, depending on what type of business. You know, I'm Australia-wide, but you know, if you're a restaurant, talk about local businesses in the area, the local schools, as I said. Sporting teams. What's happening at the local, um, you know, even at the art gallery, things like that. I love art. Right, so all of these things are designed to, one, get people to see us as the experts in our field. So that's the hints and tips. Check out these. Um, let me show you this. So, you know, show a heap of testimonials and things like that. All right, so you can see here, I've got lots of testimonials in here. All right, but again, all of these things are designed to get, hopefully, you to see me as the expert in my field, and this is what you need to be doing so people see you as the expert in your field. All right, but again, the barbecue analogy, if you're not inviting people and reminding them that you've got the barbecue on, they're, they're not going to turn up. It's, I know it sounds pretty brutal, but it's just reality. Right, so let me go back to the home. So that's basically what you need to be doing. So let's go through how much it'll cost for me to actually settle this up for you. Now, let me just, now I'm going to show you some examples. So again, the first thing we need to do is set up your page. So let me show you some examples. Now this first one I want to show you is a real estate agent. Now clearly you and I would not be going to this real estate agent's page unless we were looking for a real estate agent. There is no other reason why we'd be going here. So let's check out Steve and see if he's the real estate agent for us. Now again, remember, hook story offer. So thinking of selling your home. Wondering how much your home's worth. Right, so there's your hooks. Now again, look how much more effective this is at delivering a hook story offer method rather than just having a photograph or even a graphic or even you know, one of those fancy videos where your logo flings around. But people don't care about that. All they worry about is their problem. Do you have a solution? Yes or no? Hook story off of me. Right, so you get the idea there. Um, now this is Marcella Karuska. He used to play um, soccer for Adelaide United and Melbourne City. So he's got a soccer academy. 
So again, do your kids love football? Do you want them to have fun and reach their full potential? So as you can see, I can use video in these. I can use imagery. Um, a lot of it is just stock. I can get it from um, Shutterstock and places like that. But if you've got images and videos that I can use, obviously I can, I can grab those and use them. But again, look how much more effective this is. Imagine if you know this, this was your business versus a competitor. Or sorry, if this was a competitor and your business just had an image. I mean, I'll be going to these guys before you. I know, again, it sounds brutal, but it's just reality. All right, so let me show you another one quickly. So bathroom renovations. Well, these guys do kitchens as well. But again, thinking of renovating your bathroom. Again, this is all done with eye stock. Thinking of renovating your kitchen. All right, so there's your two hooks. All right, so transform your bathroom. A local family-owned Sydney... Oh, I missed too slow to read that bit. But yeah, we're just showing some examples of good-looking bathrooms. So you can see how this would relate to your business. So I think you get the idea. Uh, let me show you the restaurant here. So this is a restaurant in Melbourne. So again, you've got to invite people to your barbecue. So do you love Italian food? Yes, I do. You got my attention. Right. Are you looking for a traditional Italian dining experience? Yes. Well, I don't mind pasta either. I'm getting hungry looking at this. Right, but again, you get the idea. Hook story offer. And again, you'll see five out of five. They've only just set their page up recently. Again, the story. So they tell us about them. Right now, they've just set up um, online ordering. And here's the ad that I wrote for them. So again, do you love Italian food? Are you looking for a traditional blah, blah, blah? Hello, my name is, so the intro. Tell the story. So order on loud, send them to the website, phone orders, opening hours, etc. Right, so that's the first thing that needs to happen. Now, I am setting up their um, chatbot. Chatbot's a new thing that we've just launched, so I don't actually have any client ones to show you, unfortunately. Um, you'll, or you won't be able to see on the side there, but we've got about 15 to 20 of them signed up and they're being built at the moment. So, um, so I can't, again, I can't show you that at the moment. But let's go back, let's go through the cost. So how much for me to do one of these pages for you? Right, so the cost to do a Facebook business page upgrade is a once-off $797 to set it all up. Once-off, no other ongoing payments for this. Now, normally I charge a $550 fee to create one of those header videos that I showed you at the top there, so one of these. Right, so that price is included in the $797. Now, normally I also charge uh, $697 to write one of these ads, the pinned ad post. Right, so again, that price, I'm doing a special um, because of what's happening at the moment, but that's also included in the $797. All right, so uh, again, I'm gonna, there's a link I'll send you sh um, shortly. That'll be in the um, advert that'll go with this video. So um, you'll be able to link on that and go um, make a purchase. Now, the second thing, oops, sorry, is the Facebook Messenger chatbot. So the chatbot setup is a once off $597 to set up your chatbot. Now there is an ongoing fee with this, it's $50 per month. Um, this chatbot's used by some pretty big companies like Lego, um, National Geographic, etc. So every time I create a new chatbot and plug it into this third party software, I get charged a monthly fee. So that's what's covering that monthly fee. So if I go back to my chatbot, so we'll set you up with something like this. Obviously it'd be relevant to your business. But again, you just tell me whether you want it to be fun or more corporate. Again, what sort of style you want it to be. Again, I've gone with fun here. But this sort of thing is what we can set up for you. So that's a once-off cost. Again, think about what your you know, your, your average sale. All right, so if you've, if you've got 100 people visit your page, again, we'll use that number. Um, you know, how many sales do you need to make in 12 months to cover that cost? How many sales in 12 months do you need to cover that cost? So I think you'd get it covered pretty quickly. Now, the other um, part was running Facebook ads. So the cost to set up a Facebook ad campaign, it also goes on uh, uh, Instagram, is a once-off $697. Now, that includes four different variants of the ad. Now, the copy will pretty much be the same. So let me come back in here. Right, so I'll set this up in yours. So you'll have one of these sitting in here, You know, whatever your budget is. Now, I'll be suggesting 10, started off at $10 a day, but that's totally your call, but let's say it's $10 a day. 
Yeah, we look, we'll spend, but again, think of that, that machine I said, we need to put your money in the machine, <coughs> excuse me, press that button and see what your numbers come out at. So if you start at $10 a day, let's say $10 a day gets you one lead, and um, you know, out of 10 sales, you, uh, sorry, 10 leads, you get one sale at $1,000. So that's $5,000, it costs you $10 to get that. And again, I don't know if, what your numbers are gonna be until we run this. Now the beautiful thing about this is, it's also what we call scalable. Right, so I can turn that up to $50, $100, $200, $500, whatever I want. Now, $50 a day has got me pretty busy. Now, you know, I want to put more people on, but as you probably know, it's pretty difficult to find decent people. Um, but if I can find someone decent, I'll turn that up to $100 a day to cover that cost, or $200, or $300, or $500. You know, whatever, how big I want to get depends on this. So I can turn that up just like a tap. And another thing I want to point, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this, but Mark Zuckerberg, who owns Facebook, if you didn't already know that, I think he's now the uh, fifth richest man on the planet. Fifth richest man on the planet. And Facebook, I think now, is the eighth richest company. Right? Facebook's business model, as I said earlier, is advertising. They wouldn't be that big if this didn't work. Right? Simple. This works if you do it right. Right? So again, this is where your leads, they're sitting in the, in the news feeds right now, flicking through their Facebook and Instagram accounts. You need to be out there going, hey, hook story offer. I've got a barbecue on, come to my barbecue. Right, but again, if you don't do that, don't sit there and complain that things are quiet and you know, you're struggling. Again, I know that's pretty blunt, but again, reality. All right, so to set all this up, as I said, so let me jump back onto the cost. It's a once off 697. Now that'll include, as I said, four different ads. The copy will be the same, but the images will be different. I will also encourage you to create a video similar to the ones that I do for my ads. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to, but these work a lot better if I can get a video. So I'd ask if you can create a video just on your phone um, where you read the um, ad that I'll create. You don't have to read it verbatim, but you know, as long as you follow the gist. Um, if you can do that, then you will get better response, which means you'll end up getting five ads done. Now, I only charge a $50 per month management fee. All right, so I'm charging $50 a month, as I showed you. I took one of my campaigns uh, from 50, whatever it was, $52 down to uh, $21. So a $30 improvement in 12 months. So again, my job is to make sure I'm getting you the best cost per lead or cost per click possible. So that's what your $50 per month fee. So that's your only ongoing cost um, when it comes to the ads. So I've got a couple of specials running at the moment if you want to do a package deal. So if you want to get the Facebook business page upgrade and the Facebook Messenger chatbot, you'll get a 5% discount with my twin turbo package. So there's the price there. You're saving just under $70. Okay, with an ongoing cost of only $50 per month to keep your messenger chatbot running. Now, most people are going with my um, triple turbo pack, which is you get the whole package, the Facebook business page upgrade, including the video and the um, pinned ad post, the chatbot, and also the Facebook and Instagram ad campaign. All right, so that's a 10% discount, so there's the price there, so you're saving over $200. My ongoing cost is only $100, but you do remember you need to add your ad spend. Think of it like an ad in the paper. Someone needs to create the ad, so that's me, I'm creating the ad. Then you need to pay that newspaper to actually run the ad. So that's Facebook and Instagram in that case. So again, start at $10 a day, and then turn that tap up based on your numbers. All right, so let me just, um, I'm going to... Let me just pause this quickly, and then I'll quickly come back. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to put this page um, up beforehand. Right, so this link is in the um, advert uh, copy down below, and it's also um, on the page below as well. So um, if you go to this link, as you can see there, social media lead machine, blah, 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 blah. So if you want to get those um, 10, 5 or 10% off deal, um, they're a limited time, so all you need to do is jump onto this page, put in your details, company info, select the package. Now you can just do them individually if you want to spread the payments out, but you, you don't get the discount. If you want to get the discount, select package one or two, and then obviously it's um, just like any e-commerce store, um, place your order. Now once I see your order come through, um, I will then send you some emails. As you can see, we've got a limited time on these. Um, but I will send you an email with um, everything I need to do the job. Um, if you do have any questions, my number's um, on this page as well, so you can give me a call if you did have any questions before you place your order. Uh, but if you want to get your order in, get the discount, do that straight away. You'll see there's a heap of um, testimonials on here, 14 leads in one week. But again, I'll let you read those later. 
So again, you can read the 50 plus or 50 reviews at this at the time of making this video that are on my page. Um, these things are going off. So again, it's limited. I can only do so many in a week. So uh, jump on now, grab your um, grab your 10 or 5% discount. Again, thank you so much for watching this video training. Um, also, if you do take up one of those packages, I am um, will give you a call to arrange a one-on-one -on -one session where we'll go through um, this strategy in a lot more detail. And we'll also talk about potentially helping you with the um, content creation to make sure you're getting those two posts a day. But the first part is get this social media lead machine set up. Set it on autopilot. You don't basically have to do anything. Uh, just each day, log in, check your email, sorry, check your um, leads from either Facebook, Instagram, or via the um, chatbot. Uh, call those leads and do your thing and make some sales. Again, thank you so much for watching the training, and I hope this helped, and I um, hope we can do some business and get you some fantastic results moving forward. Again, thank you.